again guys um, we're gonna go ahead and finish our project here I'm gonna use a shop vac to get rid of most of this instead of dumping it because I find it a lot faster and more effective than just dumping it Now I'm just going to get that excess off that the vacuum cleaner didn't get. Now I'll vacuum that up later. And this, the bucket for the vacuum cleaner I'll end up using to um, reuse the dirt and sand later. Okay, now. I use apple barrel paints because they're cheaper and they do just as good. I don't see the point in using Citadel paints for terrain. This is ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my little cups. And then I just take the paint and I apply it. And now I'm going to let it dry and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you guys the rest. Alright guys, part two is all done so I'm going to show you guys now the rest of the painting and uh, what I'm going to use is for rust effects I'm using barn red and metallic sterling silver I'm using granite gray pewter gray burnt umber country tan all those are basically games workshop equivalents if you pick the right colors for example um, pewter gray is basically codex gray if you think about it. Alright, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some burnt umber and I'm going to do the dirt. I'm going to do a medium dry brush because I want there to be enough brown on it.
Okay. Next. Country tan.
take a picture better um, see later so you guys can see better. That's it, and then we'll let it dry for a second. So now what I do, after it's all dry, I take some PVA glue and determine where I want the grass to grow for my flock. I kind of want little little bit growing up and then out and probably a little bit right here a little bit at the bottom not big on a whole bunch of grass because I mean this is a battlefield we really don't have too much green anymore some of my homemade flock that I made and I just spread it on there if you guys want to know how to make your homemade grass like this check out rubbish in rubbish outs videos he uh showed me how to do this. Basically what it is is sawdust that I mixed with paint and then let it dry and then filtered it out. It's a really fantastic idea. It's cheap. Instead of spending four dollars on a little bag I got a whole bag of sawdust for free from a hardware store and Apple Valley or Apple Barrel paint so that's it right now we're gonna let that glue dry I'll shake it off and uh, I'll show you the rest <laughs> 